Hi guys, this is Fernando from Flixipedia and today I've got a video of a computer with Linux that's giving me an error on startup it's saying that there's an unexpected uh, cons inconsistency to run FSCK manually and um, it's giving me a error on the SDA1 so if you need to run the command and you are in doubt this is where you can check out where your hard drive is this is the SD SDA1 you you might have two three something like that so it says SDA1 contains a file uh, system with errors um, check forced inodes that were part of corrupted orphan linked list found so we're gonna run an FS uh, CK. So we're gonna run a command that's we're gonna type in. Uh, all you have to do is type in f s c k space minus f, uh, which is uh, I th I'll leave it in the description, but I think it's a, a force check. Um, so even if the sectors are considered healthy, it's gonna force check them then space uh, slash dev slash uh, sda1 which is mine uh, if yours says on top F sda2 you put in sda2 and so on and so forth so then just hit enter it's gonna start checking and basically you're just gonna have to press um, yes so Ypsilon for to fix inodes and it's gonna ask you a few times depending on the errors that you have and what he has to fix so just press yes on all of them until it's um, fixed so just go continue I'll just hit the, um, if you want to do a second sweep to, to check everything again, uh, you can just type it in uh, again just like you did before, or just press the top arrow and it will have the last command that you entered, press enter, now it's checking inodes, blocks and sizes. Okay, so I think it's okay. And just type in reboot and press enter, or switch off the machine uh, on the power button and press enter. It's gonna boot up. So let's see. Asking me if I want to boot up with my Ubuntu. So let's see if it's gonna boot up. Um, this one gave me this error because he was switching off and I had to um, I opened up the PC it was pretty dirty inside had a few blown up uh, capacitors that I have to check that I had to change so I'm, I'm guessing that was the problem that he was always um, switching off by itself after a few minutes yeah just boot it up it's working fine so thanks for watching. Uh, like, share, and subscribe if you if this was helpful. And thanks. I'll catch you in the next one.